everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Burger Designs. Have you checked out the new online exclusive products from Stampin' Up? You really need to. I'll have a link here for you so you can check them out. There's a slew of new products over on the Stampin' Up! website that you will only find there. They're not in any catalog. They're just online. Um, I'm using two of those things. Well, actually, three of those things today. Um, the first one is the Irresistible Blooms Bundle. Look at these really cool dies. We're going to use this one. Um, I have another video shows you how I use that one. Um, but look at the, the flowers are great. But oh my gosh, look at the fonts. I am a sucker for a beautiful font. So as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. Um, the other thing we're using is this new Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. Um, the color palette is beautiful and rich. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it just, it is gorgeous. Um, and one thing you'll notice is that the dies will cut out these flowers. So not only can you stamp this flower and this flower and cut it out with the dies, if you're not in the mood for stamping or you're in a hurry, just take the dies and cut out the flowers from the paper. Um, another thing I wanna point out is that there are two colors in here that you will not find in the current Stampin' Up! color family. They are Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. So you'll see those right here. Those are past in colors that retired. Well, Stampin' Up! has announced there is a color refresh coming and those are two of the colors that we will see coming up. So. The card that I made, I started with my favorite, Flirty Flamingo, and then I said, you know what, let me see if I can find some Pretty Peacock cardstock in my stash, and I found some, and I made it in Pretty Peacock. So if you are a Pretty Peacock fan, or you're just um, a lover of dual tone colors, you'll be happy to know that Pretty Peacock is coming back. Okay, so the third thing I'm using is one of the basics embossing folders. We've got a set, a combo pack of embossing folders, and this is one of them, I love it. All right, let's just get started, okay? Let's do some stamping, and then we'll bring our cut and emboss machine over and we'll cut that window there in our um, card front. We're gonna emboss it as well. All right, so we're gonna stamp the flower in So Saffron ink on So Saffron cardstock, one of my favorite colors, So Saffron. I'm usually a bright scroll, but I do love my So Saffron, All right? And then we're gonna use a deep, rich, green, mossy meadow for our leaves, okay? And of course, we've got the matching dies for them, so let's pull those out. We've got, that's the large flower, and we've got these two leaves. I'm also gonna cut out these three leaves um, that don't have a stamp, they're just kind of open, open images of leaves. All right, so get your cut and emboss machine. You wanna have all your plates on there. One, two, and uh, the clear plates, three. And then we'll line these up like this. And let's run it through. Put your other clear plate right on top. Now let's see how we did. All right, we've got our flower and we've got all of our leaves. Let's see, sometimes you can get those to pop out if you drop them. I'm uh, lazy <laughs> and that's what I like to do, but you do have a take your pick tool that will get that right out too. All right, let's get those and we've got this one. Now we're gonna emboss our card front first and then we will cut out, oh my goodness, can, I'm like all thumbs this morning. And then we will cut out that window. So for your embossing folders, you're gonna need this plate right here, plate four. And you take away plates two and three, both number threes. And then we'll get our embossing folder and we're gonna put it in so that it stops right there at the fold in our card. Okay, and you put that on there. Number four on top. Let's make sure it didn't slip. And bring this guy back over. And run it through. Good. 
got some beautiful texture. All right, now bring your other plates back. One, two, and three. And then grab that really cool spirally window right there. And it looks like I've got a few little stragglers from the last time. Get those out so you'll have a really good cut. Now you wanna make sure you center it, both sides. And run it through. And there we go. So you can see it stays connected. Um, it's not gonna cut out the image away from the, the cardstock, it leaves it there. All right, so now fold it down on your score line. And I have cut a piece of the DSP, four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the end side. And you wanna be a little generous with your dimensionals. That way it will hold the paper away from the card front. Okay, and then just lay that right there in the window. And let's see, there we go. All right, so depending on which part of the paper you cut, see how mine's a little more washed out there? It's kind of a distressed pattern. And this one, the distressed part is up there. All right, so now let's get some dimensionals and layer up our other pieces. I'm gonna start with just one dimensional there on my flower. And then I'm gonna take my leaves and I'm gonna tuck them in behind. Like that. And then for these others, since they're a little less solid, I'm just gonna put a little glue and just kind of tuck them in. Actually, we want we don't want them to hang off the card. So let's do that. Maybe mine need to be scooted in a little bit. I'll put one there. And we have one more. Let's put that one right there. All right, so now we're gonna stamp our sentiment let give that a little time to dry. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Mossy Meadow. And I'm gonna fussy cut this. It doesn't have a matching die, but I wanted to really reduce as much cardstock as I can. So when I fussy cut words, I like to draw the line around the words where I'm gonna cut. If I just start cutting with my scissors, I am almost guaranteed to mess it up. You don't really know where you're going with your scissors. So as you cut, you might cut in the wrong place and then, you know, you can't uncut if you've cut too close or, you know, cut off a chunk that you didn't want cut off. So take your pencil and draw the line that your scissors are gonna follow. That's gonna take all the guesswork out, out of it for you um, when you're cutting. And if you, you know, like right there, I got too close. If I had done that with my scissors, I couldn't fix it. But with my pencil, I can fix it like that. Okay, now get your smallest scissors. I recommend our paper snips. I'm gonna cut away some of that excess cardstock. It's gonna make it just a little bit easier for my hand to get into these little nooks and crannies. All right, so follow the line that you made. Stay in the middle of your blade and use your opposite hand to turn, following that line. Go slow. I find that if I try to go quickly, I make a mistake every time. I'm kind of a, a speeder. I like to do things quickly, but I've learned that for things like this, you need to slow down. Now I'm gonna have some stray pencil marks but we all know that's why we use a pencil, right? So we can go back with that eraser and erase. My kids, when they were little, never wanted to use a pencil. They wanted to use a pen. 
you know, feel like an adult big kid. But, you know, you can't fix mistakes on your homework when you use a pen. Nobody wants to use a boring old pencil when there's all those beautiful pens to use, I know. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think I got all my pencil lines. Now I'm also gonna get my twine, my linen thread. I'm gonna fold it in half and tie a double bow. So I have a lot of texture. Okay, and I want these loops to be relatively big because we're gonna tuck this actually behind our flower. So, grab your glue dots and just tuck that underneath like that. And then you can kind of arrange these how you want them. All right, and then we're gonna take our beautiful hand cut sentiment and put that right there. Let's see, maybe I want it a little bit further over like that. Now the last thing I'm gonna add are some of our loose, what are they called, loose frosted dots. And I like to pour them out into my little package and then get my glue dots, small glue dots, you guys, small. And then I take my, take your pick tool and I just pick them up and set them down, okay? Pick them up and set them down. There's multiple colors in here. If you have one that's being stubborn, take your, oops, I just stuck my hand in the glue. Take your scissors and, well, if you're gonna be that stubborn, then you don't get to play. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sometimes they just need a little love tap to get off that putty on your take your pick tool. And there you have it. All right, so remember there's different, there are different colors of designer series paper in here. So you can really use whatever, you know, you could use the, um, the soft sea foam. You could use the uh, pretty peacock, lost lagoon, flirty flamingo. Lots of options. Those two new colors will be available when the new annual catalog comes out in May. So you'll wanna make sure to stock up so that you have all the colors that go in this new designer series paper. All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you click the, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I've got a free PDF and two more Irresistible Blooms projects for you. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.